guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a haul for you inspired by the sunny weather. It's definitely a spring haul, although I might have included some like pre-spring stuff, but I don't know what is what. So I'm going to start with the newest purchases and then trace it back or like the most colorful purchases and go back to warm stuff. So I live in a place that's still quite cold until April, but it's April now, so I'm gonna start with some things I purchased at J. Crew. First item are these kind of like jogger pants. I kind of saw some green pants actually for Lulu. I was just in J. Crew and I needed like a quick outfit. These are actually some sort of cotton. It's like actually quite dirty. It kind of has this like back and forth kind of weaving that makes it like it doesn't have much give for it. Um, the bottom are they cinch in and uh, yeah, they're really relaxed from their like point sir kind of brand. Don't know what that's about. Fake pockets in the back. Um, yeah, actually these are quite useful. I'm very glad I got them. They'll be really good when it gets really hot outside. I'm not a fan of shorts, but these are nice. Next up from J. Crew as well, I got this light peach top and I got this in a size small. Very drapey. It's made from this kind of crepey viscose material. The sleeves are kind of bat winged and cuff on the side. The back you can see is really drapey and so it is buttoned down midway. It's kind of just a nice light color. It's a bit big. You could size down, but then it gets a little weird with these, these sleeves right here. Also from the point sir range, I kind of got them to go together, but I don't know how much they go together. Next up, I have my denim from Madewell. I have a couple things that I bought at Madewell, which is the sister store to J. Crew, but I just like Madewell's aesthetic a lot better. I got jeans for the first time and this is their the perfect vintage jean. It's a zip up and it's a light color and they came cuffed at the bottom. They kind of have a smell. Um, <laughs> not because I wore them but it has that kind of like new denim cheap smell. But these are like really awesome. I already got some compliments on it. They are not skinny. They're just the perfect color. Like it's the perfect light denim color. They kind of like the jeans I'm wearing now. I can't remember if they were high waisted or mid waist. Like I think they're actually quite high waisted. There's a little bit of distressing there and um, there's the back and there's a little M for Madewell. I used my student discount and at the time it was spring break so they had like a bump it up to 20% so I felt justified in getting jeans because even though they weren't marked down, I could use my student discount. So do that if you can. Next up from Madewell, I got this blouse. They had a kind of promotion for their new stuff or like some of their essential new stuff. I just love a white blouse, um, V cut. This kind of like style is coming in, especially with the buttons and it's tied at the bottom. I guess you can't see and it's just really lovely. It has sleeves. I like a, a nice good sleeve and just your normal kind of blouse in a viscose material. Very, very cute. The best top I bought that was blousey, but it's like made with good material, I think. So this blouse I bought yesterday at H&M. It was only $14.99 and a size 38. It kind of is like, again, like the last blouse I got. Um, ties at the at the sleeves here. It has a really dainty print and it kind of cuts here and has like a roughly bottom and then you can cinch this in. Uh, I can't do it with like one hand right now, but I'll show you in the cutaway. Yeah, super cute. I think great for date night or just a normal spring day. So I'll just put some shoes here in the middle of the haul. I got some classic Keds, which I don't think I've had Keds since I like was a child. I went ahead and got a size in an eight and a half, and these are Keds since 1916. I think this is the most classic kind. Their Keds are kind of narrow, but they're like super cute because you can wear them with a spring or a sundress, but you can also wear them with whatever because they're casual shoes. But I got them for that kind of versatility. 
So hopefully they don't get like so dirty so fast, but they probably will. Next up are my purchases from Francesca's, which when I think of Francesca's, I think of their jewelry, but they also have clothes and they had a promotion going on as well. Again, I'm looking for tops that are v-neck, kind of tie, has the buttons. I don't really like a puff sleeve, so this has a very subtle puff sleeve and it cinches there at the waist. Yeah, super cute. Um, quite short, like it's kind of cropped, but not too cropped, super cute. And in the same vein, I got another top from Francesca's in this, it kind of looks like a burlap color. There's some cinching here at the um, shoulders. And again, there's this like puff sleeve with a cinched in thing. Can you see the like material? Buttons down the front. It's from like some brand Harper and I got a size small. I think their stuff runs kind of big. It's a linen cotton blend so I think I'll get a lot of use out of it when it gets much warmer. Next up are my purchases from Nordstrom Rack. They had like a sale on sale kind of thing and so I got a size small socialite top. It's definitely ribbed in this eggplant color or is it wine or aubergine or whatever. Um, buttons down the front. I just kind of like this square or round top. I think it's very flattering. And of course, this is quite fitted. It's uh, mostly rayon, so it's quite fitted, very cute, but maybe for the kind of colder days. Um, I also got this hat from Nordstrom Rack. Again, the time for this is over. It's from Biltmore for Made Well, and it's 100% wool. Hey, when things go on sale, I get them and I can't resist a good beret. I can't resist a good beret. Okay, so moving on to other accessories or shall I say shoes? Shoes. I picked these up at Nordstrom Rack and it's very hard for me to get sandals because they just never fit the shape of my feet. So I picked up these sandals from Made Well and as you can see, they have very cute pattern of cactus and other summery shapes in gold and it's leather upper leather lining and they're made in Brazil so hopefully um, they'll treat me well this summer and actually if you can see they're still like thong kind of sandals so they'll probably stay on my feet because my problem with slip-ons is that they could easily slide off especially for some reason, my left foot doesn't fit so great, but they were so cheap that I had to get them. So I love my Doc Martens that I showed you in my last haul. I saw these at Nordstrom Rack and oh, I just can't help it when things are like discounted, I want them. And even though they're not the classic black, which is easier to sell, I got navy and I'm just more of a navy person anyways, or this marine color, I don't know what they call it, but it's quite dark. Here's the bottom, like they have the rubber bottoms which are really important for walking around. And if anyone has any tips on how to style them, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. The only problem is that it's really stiff leather. This back heel, wow, does it like not move and does it scrape? So I need some sort of socks because it's gonna hurt really bad. Just trying them on kind of hurt, but I went ahead and kept them and I will break them in and go through the process. Speaking of socks, I got a couple pair also at Nordstrom Rack. I got these smart wool ones right here and wool is great because wool doesn't stink as bad. It's like kind of has this antibacterial function. So I got some short smart wool ones and also these just for fun, rad is rad and sparkly colors and I always need socks because I'm just walking miles and miles in these city streets. Also another great deal I found at Norris Rack were these Doc Martin boots and they're just like my burgundy ones but they have this croc pattern and the croc pattern is like really kind of badly done but I love these shoes so much and they're brown so it's the color I needed. I'm gonna get the black ones, like the classic Doc Martin black ones. But I think I'll wait till I'm in the UK. These were awesome. It was like only cost me $35. Hello? One more item and I don't know if you've noticed but clear bags are so in right now. I have another bag that I got from Zara but I'm gonna save that for my Zara haul. And basically I went to Target and I saw the clear bags and I saw this clear backpack. Woo! As you can tell, you can see all your stuff inside. Like it has a foggy white color, but still you can see everything. It has these 
straps which aren't that sturdy to be honest like but um it's pretty thick and the reason i got it is because my library like you can't go in the library unless you have a clear bag i don't know if they think you're gonna steal stuff but um yeah the only problem is this this uh zipper is really wonky like i feel like it's gonna break in the near future like let's hope it just makes it lasts these couple years or whatever. But yeah, I have a lot of space as I hold it up to my head. So it's perfect for going to the library. And last but not least, I went to weekday and I rarely go there, but I wanted to get an outfit and I got another top. Don't know where it is. It's just a black t-shirt. And uh, yeah, I got a necklace and I always like the simple stuff. I got this necklace in sterling silver. It's just like a circle. Because it's sterling silver, it costs 25 euros so not cheap but really cute and dainty yeah i think i can get some more use out of it that's for sure the piece de la resistance as they say is this small jacket from pendleton and i know like it doesn't look like much like it looks kind of granny but i love the americana vibes like i love that it's made in the from us like woolen mills like this is us fabric it has a really awesome pattern i kind of wanted something that i saw on this blogger that was from urban outfitters and of course that's made from like polyester or whatever and it was cropped and it was super cute but it kind of sold out and something similar sold out. So I got a really nice piece. So this is kind of an investment piece and uh, it's still warm because it's made out of wool. Like it's 100% wool, but I think it'll work for spring when you just want a little crop jacket to keep you warm on chilly nights. And I love it guys. I love it so much. It's on sale right now. So grab it if you can, it's not cheap, but it looks super cute on. Okay guys, that's it for my eclectic haul. If you wanna see my new in Zara, then stay tuned. And I'll also do a workout one because I got so much workout clothes that like I can't even, I'm not gonna put it all in one video. So subscribe if you wanna see that. Like the video if you like the content. And hopefully I'll see you next time.